What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content daily. We also stream over on Twitch at This Is After Sound, so come by and say hello. All right, I got this fantastic idea. Uh, not mine, I'm just sharing it here. I, it was somebody during the live stream that brought this up and we kind of massaged it together on uh, on one of my previous live streams. And I think I think that I want to share this with you. Again, I'm not I'm not taking credit for it. Um, and it's I'm just sharing with you the conversation. And I think what would be good is maybe we can use the hive mind to really massage this idea out and find tangentially related ideas as well on how to give vouchers and therefore SPS a little bit more utility. I think what's great about this community is everybody's very vocal and the ideas just are out there. There's a lot of very creative people, very technically focused people. And and the thing is the team is very open to listening and they have the whole feedback.splinterlands.com. So my goal with this video is to, to use the hive mind and the community that we have on this channel and see what types of ideas can we can we come up with that we can maybe massage to make a little bit to, to, so that it makes the most sense, right? Uh, you, uh, get it's not, it's one of those things where you don't want too many cooks in the kitchen, but at the same time, you know, two minds are better than one, three minds are better than two. So if we're able to look at it from that perspective, then uh, you know, hopefully, we'll be able to find certain areas. And the thing is, I know, and I'm, I'm I, I shouldn't say I know, but I'm very confident that the team is thinking through a lot of these things too. But sometimes you just get great ideas from the outside, people who aren't in the day to day uh, that I'm sure Yabba Matt, Aggie, and Hardpoint are. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm trying to create this video now. The main thing that I wanted to talk about in the video and the idea, which we'll get to right now, is a use case for vouchers to. Um, to essentially recharge your ECR every single day back to 100%. So there's been talk about having, um, you know, that you could do this with staked SPS and the more SPS you have staked, you get higher, like a, a higher recharge rate or something. And I think that that's a great idea too, but that kind of leaves out the vouchers. And I think the vouchers, the vouchers are the extension of SPS and the team wanted it so that if you didn't want the benefits of staking SPS, right? Like you, you, you wanted to be able to sell and transact with the benefits of staking SPS, then you could do so with the voucher. So which is why I'm leaning towards the vouchers. Now, the basic idea here that we were able to massage out is taking a voucher and then essentially using it or burning it in order to get your ECR back up to 100%. And maybe you put a limit on this, maybe you don't. I think maybe you don't. Um, and so essentially you could use it as much as you wanted, as many times per day as you wanted. And, and then you're able to continue playing with a very high ECR. Now, the big question around this is, can it be exploited, right? Is there a way that this can be uh, manipulated by bots, right? Because the thing is like, it's, Sorry, is there a way that this can be manipulated uh, to an unfair advantage? Um, and the thing is, it isn't that bots are bad. It's just that bots will, you know, people will find a problem and then they're able to scale up the problem and the exploit using bots. So bots are just the tool that makes it a lot worse. But the thing is, the, the root problem is because there's a problem, there's, there's an issue that needs to be resolved. There's an exploit there that needs to be resolved. So when thinking through this, I didn't come up with anything and, you know, people in the stream didn't, but I, I please be very, very uh, critical and constructive about if there's something that you see with this. Because the thing is, for me, at the end of the day, if bots are going to spend their, uh, you know, vouchers or, or, or use up vouchers, I should say, in order to get their ECRs back to 100%, they're part of the economy. I mean, yes, they, the ECR is going to start to eat up a lot more and the bots will become essentially more productive. But at the same time, they will also make staking SPS or holding vouchers way more valuable. Now, it doesn't need to necessarily be one voucher. It could be like half a voucher or whatever. And, you know, the, we, we've heard about this upcoming voucher store, uh, which, uh, you know, there's I, I don't know. There's no time frame on, on what it'll be, but they've been talking about it for a couple of months so far. So I'm hoping that there will be cool little things like this that would add utility. But for me, it, it adds so much to the game economy, or maybe not the game economy. Well, no, it really is the game economy because it's a broader overall thing, especially if vouchers are going to be used for other places. Now, you know, one of the big criticisms that came up um, or uh, somebody that called it out was just saying, well, 
all these like large accounts that have you know a million SPS staked and are getting airdrop tons of vouchers per day, they're just gonna go and spend that on their bots. Like they they get it super easy. And to my and and the thing is, you're absolutely right. But then that makes vouchers so much more valuable because now when you have a voucher and you're not spending it on your bot, but maybe you're only spending it on yourself. Uh, that just raises the value of vouchers so much. And then if you want to stop paying for vouchers to do this, then you start buying SPS and you start staking SPS, right? So now all of a sudden, you know, people are either thinking long-term or maybe you just want it as a one-off thing, right? This is this is kind of the beauty of it because then people can inter- interact with it however they want, right? If you know that you're a long-term player and you want to be able to reset your ECR on your own, well, then you start working towards getting enough SPS and staking enough SPS so that you're getting one voucher or two vouchers, however many vouchers you need per X amount of time that you're going to be using these, right? So like I said, to me, it just adds so much value. And I feel like there's probably a ton of other ideas out there and use cases for vouchers where this could make a lot of sense. Now, the team mentioned something about airdrop potions, but you know that, that was mentioned all the way back like a couple of months ago, and we haven't really heard anything since. That could still come into play, but we don't really have... A, a framework for what that would look like. Um, if I had to guess, it would be something along the lines of you could buy an airdrop potion and then use that when opening a pack and it will increase your chance of getting one of the airdrop cards rather than the legendary cards that came within or came with the base set of Splinterlands. Um, but again, you know, what's what's the utility of that? If you only want the, the airdrop cards, right, then... Would you buy the potion, or sorry, would you buy a voucher for a dollar or half a voucher for a dollar? I'm sorry, um, half a voucher for 50 cents to to buy it to get one of those cards. And again, there's a wide variety of cards now, and there's going to be a total of 14. So I, I'm, I'm just thinking through different things here, guys. Sorry, if this video comes off a little all over the place. The main idea that I wanted to give was to give vouchers utility by offering it a way to reach, offering it as a way to recharge your ECR. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and leave that here. And just say, let me know what you think of that idea. If that's something that maybe, uh, you know, if people like or appreciate or think would be good, is this something that we should start to maybe move towards with the whole feedback.splinterlands.com? And if it's already there, um, then then let me know. And I would be happy to go upvote it and be part of the, the movement to get it going. Because at the end of the day, we just we need more utility to these tokens uh, is really what it comes down to. DEC is going to completely lose its utility in a couple of months. Uh, SPS, there's a, there's a lot been a lot of talk about utility, but we don't have that yet. And then vouchers, you know, vouchers are very cyclical in utility right now. It's just, hey, is there a release coming or is there a promo card coming? Is there something happening? Um, so that makes them, I guess, potentially a good play if you want to like buy some while they're low and then and then sell them high. Um, but at the same time, I think it'd be great for there to be ongoing utility for something like vouchers, uh, because then that creates ongoing utility for SPS in a sense. So again, I know maybe I'm coming at this and I'm, I'm being very, I'm being very biased because of the fact that I love SPS and I'm stacking as much SPS as possible. But I think if you enjoy this game, you should be, you should be wanting to stack as much SPS as possible. And hopefully in the future, once there's a lot more utility added in it, you'll be, you'll be thanking yourself for doing so. Um, so like I said, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. Let me know what your thoughts are on that idea. And if you have any other ideas, let's, let's start like a group think here. I would love to continue the conversation in the the comment section. So let me know. I will catch you on the next video and I will see you around the game. Take care.